Hi everybody, I hope everyone's doing well. This video, I'm going to be doing a product review on Clarence's concealer stick. So if you guys are interested, do stick around. So this is the product that I will be reviewing today and this is the Clarence Concealer Stick and it doesn't look anything out of the ordinary once you look at the packaging but right off the bat I will be telling you guys that this is definitely my new holy grail full cover concealer. So let me begin with what you actually get from the product itself. So this one retails for 23 to 25 Canadian dollars I believe and you get 25 grams of product. This is how the packaging looks like. It's a typical concealer stick packaging. And it just comes in a bullet like this and the Clarence logo is just here at the bottom. You probably won't see that, but this is how the stick looks and I have it in shade 04, which is really, really close to my face shade and I'm just gonna pull it out the most so you guys can see how much product you're getting so this is how much product you're actually getting and you absolutely need very little to actually have this product work effectively in concealing any blemishes suddenly become my holy grail concealer I think it's very rare for a concealer to be able to work two specific purposes that we use them for. One is for under eye concealing and the second is for blemish concealing or spot concealing. Now usually for under eye concealing, I would gravitate towards less thick concealers and more blendable and moisturizing ones so as they do not cause much creasing for my under eye or them falling into the crevices or the fine lines that you usually get in your under eye. And and for full coverage or spot concealing, I usually gravitate towards thicker, creamier consistencies that give you that thick opaqueness which really lends itself well to covering redness and blemishes that you have in your skin. The Clarence Concealer Stick is the very first concealer that I actually find works absolutely well for both purposes. It has the strikes the perfect balance between the perfect opaqueness to cover redness and blemishes, but at the same time it just has the right amount of moisturizing blendability that lends itself well to using it for the under eye as well and I think part of the reason for this is the fact that this specific formulation actually contains two kinds of waxes in its main ingredients one is beeswax and the other is candelilia wax so I think for that very reason which is something that I don't find in any of my other concealers this definitely strikes the perfect balance for it to be able to work multi-purpose effectively as well a lot of the other concealers are good only in one aspect but never in both so in that respect I really think that this concealer is definitely holy grail the price point is mid-range it's not really inexpensive but at the same time it's not as expensive as let's say Chloe Depot concealer which is supposed to be one of the best concealers but it is $70 and for me it's not really something I would invest $70 on and I have tried the Clay Depot concealer as well and I have to say that I was there was nothing that much impressive with it in fact my Vichy Derma Blend feels almost just the same and I think with full coverage they are pigmented enough all of them equally that they're what really breaks the deal for me is their blendability and how easy it is to work with and with the Clarence concealer that definitely is not a problem and it's definitely something that they've just mastered through this formulation so you literally I literally just tap it on and it er, very slightly and I can already get full coverage and at the same time just using my fingers to tap it in my skin a few times and I already got it blended in completely so 
I guess that is my little share. I hope that was informative for you guys. This is definitely a product that everyone should have in their kits, especially because it is multi-purpose. It will definitely make my travel kit always. So that is my share. Thank you for watching and I hope you guys have a great day or a great evening.